Good morning, you fine person sitting right there. Or standing. Better sit down. Log is starting. Got her all warmed up here. Just gonna figure out what our first assignment is and get to work. Good morning, my lady. Oh, you're nice and toasty warm already. I like it. Got all my stuff. Ready to go. Oh, we'll buckle ourselves in so we don't fall out. Walk the pickup. do it. Don't have an assignment yet, but I'm going to go and uh, get myself ready up front so that when they give me something to do, I can get on it. Except I'll... Like that. There you go. I'll be like, on it! Now! Thursday trucking. They fixed the rut here again. clean again not much going on today so we got the mobile wash guys here again and uh, I'm pulling out dirty trailers for them to wash and also helping Brendan here load up these machines a little baby ATV I just loaded this guy up here that's pretty fun we gotta load up the Sherps and they're going down to Minnesota. So this is a lot bigger than the other one we had the other day. That is awesome. So those are the ones we were looking at yesterday here. I'm gonna go hop in this one. The fat truck. Fitting. A fat man for a fat truck. Look at this. Left the door open for me and everything. Okay, so we get up through here, grab onto here. Just hop on in here. Um, I think this is the driver's side. Okay, so before we close the door, we gotta... Ah, ha! Okay. Just lift that up in here like that. There we go. And then we close the door. Fat man in the fat truck. Oh look at this, it's got a backup camera for behind you. No way. Full of, ah, sorry guys. Full of controls for temperature back there. Six seats. Yeah, this is what we were looking at yesterday. Sunroof. <laughs> okay, let's uh. I don't know what I'm doing. This one, I'm guessing this one means go. 
pushed it in. Perfect. Took me a little while to read the instructions here how to get it to move at first. Got these all loaded up now. Apparently these were used on a TV show just recently and we're now moving them into Minnesota where someone bought them. A lucky person. I don't know what TV show it was but okay so this is a Sherp. Uh, looks like they have a uh, like they're working with Argo. Argo is a separate company I think but it's an Argo Sherp. And this fat truck here, that's actually the brand, fat truck. It's not a Sherp. I also want to uh, clarify something with everybody and apologize, I made a mistake. I told you guys Sherp was made in Russia. Uh, that's what I had been told. Uh, I was wrong. They're not made in Russia, they're made in Ukraine. Very different. So they make Sherp in Ukraine and they ship it over here to Canada where they're assembled. Uh, I believe we assemble them right here in Winnipeg and we ship them out. And this one, like I was saying before, the fat truck, that's not a Sherp. It's one of, one of the same thing, but a different brand, different company. Fat trucks are made in Quebec, in Canada. So, Sherp, Ukraine, fat truck, Canada. You can see there's the backup camera on the fat truck. And I was told that the Sherp has it in a little bit more of a inconvenient space. Uh, where is it here? They said it was more to the side. I don't see it right now. So it's sort of like on the side and it sort of looks like you're backing up crooked. Well, maybe this one doesn't even have it. Okay, well, maybe that one doesn't have it, but these are the new models of Sherps. This is the one I drove last time. These are the uh, older models of Sherp. Remember, made in Ukraine, assembled in Canada. Really neat machines. Well, I'm off the clock. I've been hanging around for a while, just in case if something pops up, I can uh, help them out. 
But uh, doesn't look like anything else is going to pop up. So I'm going to go home. Maybe tomorrow will be a longer day. It happens. Some days are short. Some days are long. We just had a, a couple of short ones in a row now. But we can't forget that the last couple of months have been like almost 12 hour days every day. Which I kind of like. It keeps me busy. I, I get antsy when I have nothing to do. Like a day like today. I'm just getting a little antsy. So... <laughs> They said it's good for me to go home. I'll see him tomorrow. I've got to be in early tomorrow. I'm not too sure what we have going on yet, but uh, I'll probably uh, make up the hours then. If I come in early, I'll still stay till the end of the day, six o'clock, seven o'clock, whenever they need me to. It's just the way it is. So I've hung around long enough, twiddled my thumbs, and. I don't think anything else is going to come up. Just one of those weeks. But if this week is slow, well, like I said, the last couple of months have been insanely busy. It's actually kind of nice to have a little bit of a, a gap, a little bit of a, a break from the constant run, 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 run. But uh, if this week is slow, chances are next week will probably pick right back up again so let's go home see what the wife and kids are up to all four of the furry little hairy kids Chevy Chevy did you have a good day did you have a good day diesel diesel was he good were you good were you a good boy what do we got going on back here Chevy you got a stick I don't think you should eat that, man. They usually spit them out. So that's the wiring that I did for the uh, solar light. It used to have the solar right here, right? Solar panel right here. I got the wiring going up behind that vent. Up right in the center there. Up above. And you can't see it, but it's on the roof there facing the sun. Works way better. There's supposed to be another one out here somewhere. Commander? Frank? Diesel, where's your little old brother? Frank? Commander? Paging Commander Frank? Paging, <gasps> there he is. How you doing, buddy? Why do you look guilty? What were you doing? What were you doing? Were you looking for brownies? You won't find any. We clean those up every day, man. Right away, we can't leave them lying around because these guys are a little, uh, a little weird with their snacks sometimes. We'll just say that. It's weird. Diesel doesn't do it, but Commander and Chevy does. It's disgusting. I need to take this out of here. This looks bad. Ah, this broke off. Chevy and Diesel were wrestling. Snap that right off. Maybe I can fix it yet. There is something we can quickly do. I need the shed key. This is our uh, control for our backyard lights that go around there. It's actually, well, it's four Christmas lights, but I wired it up for the backyard lights. Because before we had this thing working, it was very dark back here. And sometimes we don't want just that bright light on. We want to have a nice, nice uh, warm glow around the yard, right? That's not hard on the eyes. It's really nice for bonfires and stuff. Sort of lights up the light, uh, lights up the backyard lightly. And so, what? Let's see, let's go over here to the fence so you can see it. You'll see the uh, these lights here. I'll press the on button. Go into the shade a little bit so you can see it better. Press the on button and see? Is the camera picking it up? Looks a little weird on there. Press off. We can control this from inside the house. You can put it on a sensor so that they just automatically turn on when it gets dark, but it's a waste of electricity. We're not always back here. So when we do come out here, usually what I do is I just press the, the two hour button. And if it's dark, it only works if it's dark out. Uh, otherwise I have to press the on button. But if I just press the two hour button, the lights come on. And then if I forget to turn them off, because once you go inside the house and you're not looking into the backyard, you might've forgot to turn all these lights off, right? And that's, like I said, wasting electricity. So after two hours, they'll automatically turn off, which is kind of handy. And then we can, like I said, it's like a little wireless switch. One of the only problems with uh, 
the outside of this house is there's only one outdoor electrical outlet. And uh, we have this <laughs> plugged in over here. And it goes all the way around, connects to this green cord. And it's not hidden the best right now, but once we get our spring cleanup done, you'll see it better. Around there, <laughs> around there. All the way up. And to here, I'm gonna get a different color cord yet so it's not like a bright lime green cord in here. And this is the sensor box. You can see it's on the two hour right now. If I press the off button, it goes off. If I press the on button, so it always shows you here as well if the lights are on or not. Commander, that's his perch. That's where he commands from. How's the Galactic Federation doing today? No, still can't talk about it? Okay. Hush, hush. I just put these up here temporarily. Was it like a week or two ago already? Okay, for now, you can go right there. At least you're out of sight, out of mind, right? And one of these weekends, we're gonna organize this place. So a little slow this week. I'm wondering if this, uh, this slowdown has anything to do with that container ship that was stuck in the Suez Canal. I'm kind of doubtful that the effects of that would reach all the way out here inland to us and the freight that we deal with, but you never know. I mean, most of our freight moves between Canada and the US. We, we don't have too much freight other than those Sherps and stuff that come from like Europe or the other side of the world. I, I think sometimes we get some containers in from India that we bring out to a local company here. But that was years ago. I don't know if we would still do that because that probably would from India. I don't know if they would go because it depends which coast of India they come from. If they would go through the Suez Canal and across the Atlantic to our east coast in Montreal or if they would go across the Pacific to our west coast in Vancouver. Probably to our east coast. Montreal does a lot of the, uh, the incoming f international freight receiving there. I know they have a huge shipyard there. They sort of almost have a monopoly on it because, you know, in Manitoba, we'd love to have a big port in the Hudson's Bay up by Churchill. Sort of like so that Western Canada can sort of have direct access to the international market without going through the east and Vancouver, uh, but I don't know, trade, it's an interesting thing. No matter where you are in this world and what country you live in, we all sort of survive off trading things with one another. It's interesting. Like this camera I'm holding right now, it's a GoPro Hero 7. I know it was designed in the US, but it was manufactured and put together probably out in Korea or somewhere out there. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. And then shipped back here. Isn't that interesting that it's cheaper to do it that way than just to make it here? Makes you think, right? I know that there was this one uh, story I heard of a while ago already. We were shipping some steel. This, this was the steel I was talking about before uh, from India. It was actually Canadian raw products. So we mine the raw materials in Canada we ship those raw materials to India where they manufacture it into big like steel beams for buildings and stuff and then ship them back to Canada. So it's our own products just being manufactured on the other side of the world and that is cheaper than just making it here. Including all of the freight charges and everything going across the world. It just sort of blows your mind, right? The way the world works, I have very little influence over it. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, anyways, this was talking about it's been slow this week, and usually we've been very, very busy. So I'm wondering, it's uh, maybe it's something to do with that ship getting stuck. I don't know. It's probably nothing to do with it. It's probably just one of those weeks where there's not, not as much moving, but uh, next week will probably be twice as busy to make up for it. So anyways, I'm gonna close this vlog off for you. Gotta put another one together for you. So there should be two coming to you today. Uh, this one and uh, Fridays, tomorrow. I'm a little bit in the future right now, if you haven't figured that out. <laughs> 
So we're going to get two out to you. If you don't see the second one today, it'll be out to you tomorrow morning. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.